thank you very much for staying with us here on Newsfile. Now, I'll share some of your messages uh, with you, and then we will move on to quickly look at the growing uh, development of the Galamse Menes. Very briefly, we are looking at that one, uh, first DKM issue, and then that one. And then we'll move on to other issues regarding the Electoral Commission and electioneering issues, the campaign that is going on. Okay, so now uh, Nazi says that debates don't win elections in Ghana. <coughs> Our president should stop uh, shouting debate, debate, and tackle the illegal uh, mining menace. Echo Esando says that I believe the debate will make us interrogate the policies and uh, promises of the two main parties. Nana should accept the challenge, Nana and Mahama, one on one. Ghana wins at the end of the debate. Our democracy is growing. And then uh, William Yaweje sends this from Tachiman. He says, Nanado will only debate the president if he answers Dr. Bahamir's 170 <laughs> questions. Abu Sisu says the president has lost public credibility and wants to restore that by debating with a credible Nana Ado. And then Eliasu in Tamale says Nanado won't debate flip flop incompetent, inconsistent president. The real debate is what Nanado is offering to the people. Al Hassan and Dani in Savilugu says the president is too smart and a classy one um, at that. That's what you meant to say. Uh, Nanado to take up the challenge. I feel so bad that he has to play in the same ballpark as Nanado and people are actually following him. The challenge thrown by JM only teaches us one thing and that is everything we thought was true about Nanado has been confirmed. Uh, okay, I can't really follow that. <laughs> NS in Taifa says it is not President Mahama who wants, is it not President Mahama who once upon a time ran away from debating Nanado on the IA platform? Then Samuel Akito says, Are you quoting who is it? He says, If you do it your way, you will win. So we will do it my way. So I will do it my way. Okay, and he mm. says that's what uh, Rob Start uh, to Jamie Lenista. <coughs> okay, it's good. Uh, it is good that the NPP is not allowing the NDC to dictate how and when. Okay, and then Musa Abatoa says, Yao Pong is not helping matters at all. We have given reasons why uh, we turn down IEA. Okay. All of you who have shown up on my page and are sending your messages, you are all part of this cabal, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm actually, you see what I'm doing? I'm actually struggling to now look for those who are, who are also saying the other way. Because so far, what I'm reading uh, line by line is there was only one that was uh, in favor of the president. <laughs> Van Hoff says, Ghanaians don't need the cheap debates. You wanted to say cheap debates, okay. Still looking for one. Abdul Karim Inusa says uh, from Tamale that debating Nanado at this crucial time will not put food on the table. Oh, you guys, give me one or two more. <laughs> Citizen Kofi says, so after declining the offer to participate in the IEA evening encounter, the president now sees the importance of having a debate. Okay, al Yana says that the only debate uh, day will be the election day. Then Vasco Mensa says, we want taxes on water and electricity removed, not debates. Then Dan Juma Adam says, the president made the first call when he had an interview with TV3, but with a caveat that subject to the approval of his party, uh, then my question is, has his party now approved of a debate? Uh, Ilyasu again, sorry, I can't read twice for you. Nana Kweku Adumako. Nyako says that I think the president should look around him in terms of publicity. If uh, the media 
is not covering his achievement, then his media office is not doing him any good. Ray Amenyinuko says that um, media cabal, dear, I can't think far <laughs> upon Daily Graphic, Ghanaian Times, GBC, The Green Book, and not to talk of the NDC rented media, yet the president's message is not reaching the good people of Ghana, then that means people are not feeling the changing life's message. Okay, I guess I, I just have to stop. I give up. So, so now, just, yeah, yes. Uh, I got a text from an elder statesman whose name I can't mention. The question about either the message or the, the messenger, messenger or both. You say this is the image of the messenger. <laughs> the image of the messenger. That is the problem. Oh, really? Nana Kwesia Safoy J. Kwada says, it is very amazing for the president to suggest that his good works are being blocked. The truth is that his communication team's fixation on personal attacks is what blocks his phantom transformational agenda. If his government had done works that uh, resonate with the Ghanaian masses, he wouldn't be saying this. Charles Kumsen Medina says, didn't the president hear and see Radio Gold, Muntier, etc., who are all uh, part of the private media, spend their time talking about MPP and their internal problems instead of uh, propagating his transformational message. Kwabena Udru Kwating in New York says, seems like the president has a change of heart regarding debating his opposition. What finally changed? Ghana uh, <coughs> prides ourselves with a democratic process, yet we don't have any established debate commission to force these candidates to sell their arguments. We need to get serious with this process for the benefit of Ghanaians. Nanaya Osafo uh, in Croydon says that please tell the president if he will not take good care of journalists uh, when they have accidents as well as his communicators beating and destroying gadgets of journalists, then the journalists will talk about people being shot instead of propagating his work. These comments overshadowed his work and uh, become, become talk of the week. Uh, then Nesta Jokoto says the media has never been friendly to the NDC from day one. The NDC should put their destiny in their own hands and forget the media for now. After the elections, they will return. Ibrahim Kopa uh, in Tamale says that Nanado is an outstanding lawyer and will not run away from uh, debates. Okay, I think I can end it there. Benjamin Osei Jamirai in Edinburgh says that there are two key issues every government must focus on. Development of needed infrastructure to transformation of the lives of the citizens. These two are not independent of each other, but they complement each other. The president's message is, uh, the president's message does not resonate with the people. Okay, right. Thank you. Now, shall we deal with uh, <coughs> DKM and uh, the customers? Some, we are told, are dying upon hearing the news that they were receiving 10 CDs, 10, 10 poor Ghanaian CDs for in an investment in excess of how much? <coughs> 60,000 or so on. Ooh those who are re receiving 3,000 for an investment of close to is 600,000 Ghana cities. Well, this, this, uh, this uh, release coming from the official liquidator. Okay, and I'll try and read. Uh, just coming in, and it says, pursuant to the revocation of the operating license of DKM on the 29th of February 2016 by the Bank of Ghana, BOG, following the inability of the company to fulfill its obligations towards its depositors and creditors, the central bank, in accordance with Section 68.1 of the Banking Act 2004, Act 673, appointed the Registrar General as the official liquidator for official liquidator that's OL for the purposes of winding up the affairs of DKM. The OL, in accordance with Section 7 of the Bodies Corporate Official Liquidations Act, okay, placed DKM in official liquidation on the 29th of March 2016 and is 
prosecuting the official liquidation of the company in accordance with the provisions of um, okay i'm going to be paraphrasing i haven't read it first so i don't have the opportunity to summarize for you so i'm going to be paraphrasing where laws are being referred to i'll just uh, call it law and move on in order to assist the ol in orderly winding up of dkm the ol has appointed pricewater uh, house and coopers ghana limited PwC and the George's Law Consult legal firm as her financial and legal consultant under law. However, the attention of the OL, that's official liquidator, has been drawn to various media reports, reportage, especially on different radio stations and media platforms appearing to distort the facts. This is the cabal. Distort the facts regarding <laughs> settling the obligations of DKM to its depositors. It is a cardinal point that the scope of our work in prosecuting the liquidation of the company includes but not limited to one realization of funds from liquidation of the assets of DKM, which is ongoing, two distributing the realized assets aforesaid in accordance with relevant provisions of law to satisfy the indebtedness of the company to its body of creditors to the extent of the quantum of assets realized. It is worthy to note that with the monies realized to date, we ought to initiate the processes of repayment to depositors first. From the data received, from the database obtained from the services of DKM's information system by making initial payments to all depositors at a cap of 3,500 Ghana cities following a validation of the data retrieved from the electronic records of DKM investment and savings uh, categories. Our initial discussion with the management of DKM revealed that the savings account was the, was the primary account for depositors who intended to operate an investment account. As a requirement for its operators, its operations, depositors were required by the company to have a minimum balance of 10 Ghana cities in their savings account. This was later increased to 20 Ghana cities and eventually 50 Ghana cities after the company acquired a new financing transaction operating system. All balances above the minimum threshold were then moved into investment accounts until a customer requested to deal with the investment account. Otherwise, the deposit remained in the savings account. The amounts being paid out currently, i.e. 10 Ghana cities, 20 Ghana cities, and 50 Ghana cities, represents the mandatory minimum balances required by the company to uh, remain in depositor savings accounts as validated, validated on the service. We are now validi validating some balances in the investment and savings account categories, which were only manually captured in DKM's records. We wish to reiterate the current position of the payment by stating that this is not the total and final amount being paid creditors from the balances of their savings and those who may also have investment that have not as yet been validated manually the liquidator will be coming out with a validated list of such investment as soon as practicable it is worthy to note that the liquidator cannot make any payment whatsoever without validating the accounts and the claims for the act duly requires that claims must be proved and the entire account subjected to examination after the, the, the liquidation we now entreat depositors the media concerned the media concerned persons and groups to assist us by refraining from misinforming the general public on our work and not to unnecessarily whip up emotions of the depositors. Strenuous efforts are being made to di dispose of uh, all DKM's assets wherever they are located to raise the necessary funds to refund to depositors their investment, and the liquidator will make further payments, uh, top-ups, uh, as, as and when realizations are made to all depositors whose balances at the time of the liquidation were above 3,500 Ghana cities. We assure the general public of high transparency standards and will continue to engage all stakeholders until we bring to 
clo a closure, this liquidation exercise. The liquidator is aware of the pain and agony suffered. Okay, I think we can end it here. Thank you very much. This is from the official liquidator, DK, uh, DKM Diamond Microsoft Limited uh, in official liquidation. So this is the Registrar General. Okay, hmm. I start with Kweku. I'm tired, really. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get some water sip. Tell me quickly, what do you say about the processes going? Now they have explained that people were depositing 10 CDs, um, 10 CDs, 20 CDs, and um, 50 at a point. Uh, that was the minimum you should put in there. And so some are receiving just that because they had confirmed that you actually put it in. And those two, others two who have more than 3,500, if they are getting 3,500 now, they shouldn't think that's the end of it because they are realizing their assets and in due course, when they validate them, they'll pay them the extra that they, they, they deserve. You know what? I, I'm going to be very careful. Otherwise, I might be accused of being a very callous and insensitive human being. <laughs> 1995 or so, I recollect Pira, something mm. of that yes, sort. Yes, Look, I don't know. I'm sorry. I should be forgiven. But why do people get themselves into this situation? Hmm. Why? Poverty, greed, want, what? A combination of all? Yes. So, you must go into such a scheme, no, scam, <laughs> because of interest rate that, I mean, it doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. There are victims out there. Yeah. Some have died, I'm told. People took their church some savings, has, yes, people some took their insurance, yes, everything. Yes, that's why I say I might be accused of being insensitive and callous. But I'm finding it difficult not to express my real sentiments. Because there is a history right. already. Past victims. Piram was not the last. No. There yes. was Piram, there was another one. Yes. R5. So why? R5, R5, yeah. Why do we allow these things to happen? Of course. Looking at that picture, that side, eh? I'm sorry, victims, but I really can't help. I can't. You know, then you see the regulator too. Where was the regulator? <laughs> you ask yourself, what the institutions that have been put in place to be policing this thing, monitoring, evaluating, where, where were they too? We understand that many of them, you know, came up as associations. They, they, they don't grew. come under the regulation. You get no, it? No, but the there should be a money. The, the state, the mm. system should have a certain ability, capacity mm. to detect, monitor, evaluate. So if they are operating illegally or if they are operating in a certain, on a certain legal regime but are shifting, then you detect and you, you, you cure the mischief. Okay. But here we are because uh, we didn't do all that. Now government mm. and state institutions are intervening to help. It has its own snowballing effect. Okay. So, uh, uh, and this statement, too, is very useful, right? Because there, there are those who don't understand the processes who have been asking, where is the money coming from? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, this, this also sits well with the president's statement that you are blocking some information. This is ah. distortion. This, oh. is, this, this was a distortion of what the situation is. This has come to clarify what was already out there. That but only, exactly. only but this, this proves that oh. the distortions and blockades cannot oh. be sustainable if they are indeed oh. distortions. Okay. So you, just so you notice that, read it. You notice that mm. there has been a deliberate attempt Predictable to the, distort I, I, what I'm is happening. <laughs> This statement has come to clarify it. What is the distortion? Now, what is the distortion? That they were giving people 10 cities, 10 cities. But that's oh. true. They no. And, 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 then, and, then, and then made the impression to look like that is all of it that they are going to give to the people. And that people are dying and collapsing. So maybe they didn't the, provide this information no, to those who are No, carrying no, no. Samson, if you are a journalist and you want to put out this, your first rule in the journalism school is to cross check. No. If I have, have cross check from the if I have a customer, no. if I have a DKM customer, uh -huh. and this is what the Daily Graphic pro published, yes. a, DK, a DKM customer comes to them with a receipt of the payment, yes. 10 CDs. And then you, as a journalist, you won't go beyond that and find out. Well, what, what do they Look, need? I think I'm saying that hasn't proof. this one told you that mm. these are just in their initial deposits. Okay. Those ones will be left in the account. Okay. Because no uh, uh, bank will normally 
collect everything and collect the 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 the, the, the initial deposit mm. just do now media but you agree though that there's no guarantee that, that they will realize well, any no, further coming, assets and come that. and give them extra money to that and I'll end up, I will end up in a proverb that you have to uh, interpret to the people <laughs> oh. now no yeah. here yeah, now <laughs> they are now moving to the next stage mm. as a liquidator has said because dkm have also moved their money to an investment fund we are told that DKM is in debt to the tune of 21 million, which means that DKM itself do not have the liquid funds sitting down. They are now going to move to uh, 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 touch, attach the properties of DKM. Mm. But you know that the money that will be realized from there will not be enough because these will have been used properties and they can't sell at the value that uh, they were. Some customers already got hand of the lay down so some of them the long point, ago. The point is that mm. we had failed as a bank. That's I'm talking about the, 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 the Bank of Ghana. Failed. They didn't utilize their monitoring department and they didn't utilize their, their uh, uh, supervisory department. They have two departments which could have cured this. The, the supervisory department and then the, 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 the monitoring Under department. Under the circumstances, you really blame the, the, the Bank of Ghana? Oh, yes. The Bank of Ghana should have been able to uh, nip this in the bud. Agreed that some of them might have started like a, 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 a susu or some even said that they started like a fit, fit, uh, 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 keep fit clubs. Right. And then they will contribute. At the end of the month, they give it to one person. But with the DKM1, it is clear <coughs> that they had gone beyond their, their, their mandate. What was Bank of Ghana doing? And so, but I also think that, to some extent, I agree with Coco, hmm. that when an institution is offering interest, twice what the banks will give. Twice, more than twice. More than twice. <laughs> then you should have a second look at that. Hmm. But the proverb I'm going to give is that, Betu ki hanka, okantava izawa, to wait. <laughs> oh, oh, no, he will, he will do it. Some no, okay. I mean, he's <laughs> suggesting like when you are holding millet, mm -hmm. millets, and then it falls to the ground, you you won't be able to pick all of them back sure. because some of them will mix up with the sun. That's right. Yes. You know, it's it's very interesting. When I I first started reading these things, one of the questions that kept coming onto my mind is that I wanted a reference point. Ten cities against what? 10 cities, 20 cities against what? Now there's an explanation, so you then, understand. So let's come back to it. This is again an issue of communication, but it's not a communication of the people who received it, but those who are managing the liquidation process. Because here, let me come on to this. First of all, normally when these things happen all over the world, we look, there was one not recently ago in the US, a certain cricket promoter <laughs> lost people billions right. through pyramid schemes. Yeah. So... These things happen. But normally what happens is that in these kind of situations, as a liquidator, you almost over-communicate because you know you've got people here who, through whatever no, reason... No, but, that but, but in fact, is it fair to describe them as a Ponzi scheme of, of no. sorts? Because they, they, they showed to be, no. you know, you see, clearly it wasn't from the start. No, no. It showed it was not sustainable because you can't pay double. Unless mm. you are dealing in illegal activity, there is no economic principle that's going to allow you to right. do that over any... Yes. Okay. <laughs> Pyramid. You said oh, they, she, she suspected they were using counterfeit money. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no, I want to come yeah, to just something. But, yeah. No, I want mm. to try and come to something. You don't start paying such miserable amounts against such huge figures. If it's truly 10 cities against 60,000, I would have rather they'd have said, wait. wait. Mm. This thing came too early. They should have, because what am I going to do with 10 cities okay. when I've got 60,000? It was too early. And instead, or the, there should have been a statement ahead of time. Yeah. No, that is what we are going to do. Exactly, we'll pay you that your is exactly where I'm coming to. Deposits. But even from mm. a liquidation very, very process, I started mm. my early years at KPMG mm. in the UK. When you are going through liquidation process, you are dealing with people where rationality has gone out the window. That's true. Somebody has put sixty thousand. Six, this is their life saving. Mm -hmm. They want their money, so you have to over communicate and engage in what you're doing. Mm. So if you know what I heard, there was a cap. Or 3,500. Was that correct in that yes, reading? Yes, 3,500. So what you've told people straight away is that even no matter what I have invested, I'm going to get, let's say, 20 pesos in every city I've invested. Mm. That is how normally the liquidators communicate these things. 
in a meeting with the depositors who are in the case. Mm. When I heard no, that, no, but but if they had made these people to understand, this is my point. This is what this is just the initial that we are going to give you, and we'll realize further assets, and we'll, we'll make sure we, we validate and give you the money. Yes. Why is it that from the media reports and television, exactly. you know, coverages that we have seen, you see the people go, they take the money, and they are complaining right in front of the liquidators. That is exactly what I'm getting to. That the communication has broken down, but the communication. Is the liquidators because let's take a sake of argument. You know that this is going to be a highly contentious issue. At the time of this payment being done, you should have had somebody from the liquidators able to answer questions. Right there and then. Okay, thank and, you. And we, also the we, other we, point we, I want to we just need to, quickly: we have so many ten issues cities to deal with. is mm. paltry. When mm. you've done, you shouldn't have paid it. It's actually you are inflaming the. Yeah. the Passion. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. 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 For this, and uh, to um, support what Mr. Maliba said, this is what the president said in the State of the Nation address the last time that the lack of effective supervision on the part of the central bank resulted in the scam. I think it's just too harsh. I mean, this is a bank that, and of course, it goes to public officials too. If you are prepared to sometimes, quote and unquote, bend the rules, this is a bank that, in spite of clear express provisions, in the banking act and so on will still allow the state to go beyond the minimum threshold of 10 percent of the state or um, the uh, revenues to the state for the year and so i think they should take a lesson from it if you want to comply with laws comply mm. with laws otherwise the politicians will benefit and when it suits they will just bash at you and lash at you okay now so um also on what Koku said, you see we know that as human beings we will definitely want to do the wrong things if we imagine that there will be a good result. And that is why laws are made. And when laws are made, these laws must be enforced strictly. You understand? So mm. people are gullible. Okay. I mean, we are talking about highly educated people. Mm. There are, some are lawyers. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Professors. Professors. Incredible. Politicians. Incredible. I think that it is a social culture. You know, yeah. People Absolutely believe in it. mm. it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sikadro sort of things. <laughs> oh, yes, it's social culture. Mm. So it doesn't matter the level of your education. It's amazing. You will still it want to see how okay. fast so, so you quickly can also, quickly also continue with the...